Open RAN represents a fundamental shift in how networks are built and operated, promising greater flexibility, innovation, and cost efficiency. But what does this transformation look like from the inside? Well, to gain first-hand insights into this evolution, we continue our series, The Open RAN Vanguard, Inside the TELUS Open RAN Transformation, with Sushil Rawat, Director of RAN Strategy at TELUS. He'll take us behind the scenes of one of North America's most ambitious network transformations. Sushil, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. So let's begin with the complexity of the network. What are the main challenges for both green and brownfield operators? Thanks for that question, Clarence. Uh, greenfield and brownfield is just a terminology used for, for uh, how and when the network is being deployed. Currently, globally, there are multiple greenfield operators who are basically uh, introducing their network to the customer for first time. So they are working on their own strategy for services that they want to offer to their customers and, and frequencies that they have and the, and, the, and the radios that they want to deploy. When it comes to Brownfield, we have been running our network for decades. So Brownfield operators basically have a lot of customer base that exists and a lot of services that we offer today uh, as part of our, our business and uh, a lot of different uh, radio access technology that we offer. We offer 3G, 4G, and 5G services to our customers. We have uh, 5G deployed in uh, NSA, non-standalone mode and standalone mode. We have narrowband IoT for uh, services for our customer, which is, uh, which, which is used for, uh, for different uh, industries, be it agriculture or, or uh, other, uh, other businesses. We used uh, we offer services such as EMTC to to machine communication. Uh, we also have uh, quite complex technologies as part of a radio access network where we combine four component carriers uh, as a as part of carrier aggregation. We we have massive MIMO technology deployed. We offer multifold uh, customer experience with uh, multi user MIMO uh, technologies. We, we, we provide excellent uplink performance using uh, uh, uplink comp. And we also use our spectrum very efficiently between 4G and 5G uh, via uh, services such as DSS, dynamic spectrum sharing. And uh, going forward, we'll also be looking at uh, delivering voice services using uh, uh, 5G, which is voice over NR. So with all these complex services, we have to adopt ORAN architecture. We have to deliver all these services on day one with the performance that already exists and our customer have uh, expectation of, uh, of, of particular quality of services from our network. So that's the major challenge for brownfield operators to adopt a new technology architecture such as ORAN. We have to deliver all these services with the performance that is acceptable to our customer on day one. And that is the major challenge for greenfield and brownfield operators uh, when, when it comes to adoption of new architectures such as ORAN. Can you walk us through your open RAN journey at TELUS so far? What are the stages of implementation that you've completed and what remains on the roadmap? We have uh, we have tested uh, the ORAN solution that is uh, supplied by, by multiple suppliers. So we have been working with the uh, uh, server supplier, CAS uh, platform, and our DU supplier, which is Samsung in this case. We have, we have gone through the multiple stages of uh, life cycle for testing the, the entire technology. Just to, to set the context, we have about 45 sector carriers uh, on, on, on a site which is fairly complex and large in size. And we, we have successfully tested this uh, into our trial cluster. To be honest, we have even gone beyond the trial cluster. We have deployed a uh, little over 150 sites in our network today with open RAN technology. Uh, we, we, have, uh, we have successfully tested the performance of ORAN. It is, it is uh, in many aspects better than the traditional RAN technologies that are available and in many aspects very similar to that but in, in no way it is inferior to the traditional uh, RAN technology that is available and, and we had great uh, performance with our traditional RAN solution too. So 
Oran has been performing to our expectation when it comes to, to the deployment and performance of it. We have also integrated third-party radios and uh, we, we, we have been talking about it for a while now. The, the integration with third-party radios is not as complex as it has been perceived in industry. We have also tested all the services uh, that we have available with us, which is uh, DSS, uh, Volti, VONR, and uh, Carrier Aggregation and Multi-User MIMO. So we have tested all the services those are available uh, with the complexity of our network. We have uh, met and exceeded our KPI expectation in most cases. And we have also integrated with third-party radios and we are also able to achieve our, our TCO saving target. So those are the achievements that we have uh, we have completed so far. So what are the adoption priorities for TELUS when moving into larger scale deployments? We, our priorities are, are uh, multifold, but we have highest priority for us in our network deployment is the performance. Uh, as I've been, uh, you know, saying it in the in the previous discussions also top priority for telus is to keep the network performance provide excellent services to our customer which is available to them today and also reduce the time to introduce new services for our customers we want to be leaders in in innovation we want to continue offering uh, best in class services with with higher performance so those are the two uh, first two pillars for our uh, our priority uh, we want to also enable an architecture that is disaggregated and uh, open in nature, which will allow us to address any supply chain challenges and also allow us to introduce uh, best of uh, breed when it comes to different components in the network. Be it the server, we would we want to have uh, that innovation, you know, continue that innovation on the server. Uh, side which include the silicon coming from from Intel or or other silicon suppliers, so continue that that uh, continue to take advantage of the the silicon innovation. Also continue to take advantage of innovation happening in in uh, radio technologies and uh, enable our platform for future technologies such as AI and and other use cases. So architecturally, our focus is to be open and to be more innovative vis-a-vis uh, -vis the traditional RAN. And cost is, is definitely one of the priorities where we basically drive the overall cost of deployment and operations lower than the traditional RAN. So those are our four major priorities uh, getting into the ORAN deployment. And uh, we have achieved this with a multi-vendor scenario where, where we have third-party radios and servers and cloud platform coming in from different suppliers. Can you give us an example of an open RAN site configuration? Sure. Uh, our ORAN sites are, are quite complex, as I've been uh, saying since the beginning. We have about 45 sector carriers and the spectrum that goes all the way from 600 megahertz to 3.9 gigahertz with all kind of variable bandwidth from 5 megahertz all the way to 200 megahertz of bandwidth available with 3.9 uh, gigahertz spectrum that we have. So, and, and we have used 4G and 5G, we have used those frequency for, for multi-rad deployments such as 4G and 5G. We deploy about 15 radios per site, which include massive MIMO radios. We have uh, uh, we have two low band radios per sector, we have two mid band radios per sector, and we have one massive MIMO panel per sector, which, which basically uh, concludes to about 15, uh, sec uh, 15 radios per site. Those are mapped to Three different servers, so three physical server with uh, with with uh, with forty cores, and we have deployed three different pods of cloud platform with three different VDUs on those three different servers, and connecting them through a, a front hall router, which is called CHR. Uh, we did we distribute uh, synchronization for front hall using uh, the the NIC from the server and also the chr that we have so we have mix uh, of of timing distribution we have mix of tdd and uh, fdd videos and we also have mix of of technology that we deliver such as 4g and 5g and that that is quite a complex uh, architecture when it comes to a single site having three servers and 15 radios and this is what we have deployed today on our uh, our sites, which is uh, 
uh, little over 150 sites for uh, our production deployment today. And uh, we have we have uh, validated and successfully deploying multi-rat, multi-pod, multi-server deployment for our uh, Oran uh, architecture. So looking forward, where does TELUS go from here? How do you continue to innovate and create future opportunities for customers? Beyond uh, what we have done, this is, this is only the first milestone for us. We have uh, been successfully able to deploy and, and achieve the performance and services we need, but this is just the beginning. The, the main purpose of, of adopting ORAN is to keep, uh, keep the innovation going. With this architecture, we, are, we will continue to innovate and uh, that is the plan moving forward. Uh, and innovation on architecture is just one aspect of it. The second aspect for us is to getting into autonomous operation, which uh, which I call zero touch operation, where the system is smart enough to identify anomalies, identify incidents, and able to resolve and heal by itself, where the human intervention is minimized. And that's how we will get into autonomous operations uh, mod of uh, ORAN. And last but not the least, uh, it will also enable us with uh, uh, adoption of AI. With this architecture, we will be able to build our own AI, which is best suited for our network, for our customer, and for our traffic model that we have. And uh, we are very excited to get into that uh, phase of, of innovation with, uh, with our ORAN uh, deployment. Sushil, thank you very much for sharing your insights with us today. Thanks for having me. It was a pleasure talking to you.